Hi everyone, uh, today we will look at the mechanics of the gem atelier, which is a super difficult word to pronounce by the way, I don't know where tips I've got it from. Anyway, this is the new Wheel of Destiny edition coming in winter update 2023. It's quite a complex feature um, that took me quite a while to understand and playing around with it on the test server, so I hope many of you will find this video helpful where I try to explain all of the mechanics of it. And just before we dive in, I want to clarify that in this video, we will not be covering what the best gems are, what the best builds with the gems are. We will not be reviewing the individual modifiers uh, available through this uh, gem atelier. Uh, we will only be covering the mechanics, basically how to get the gems, how to reveal them, how to assign them, how to get the most of them in that way. Uh, and yeah, with that out of the way, let's dive in. There are three types of gems for each vocation, lesser, regular, and greater for a total of 12 different gems across the four vocations. Lesser gems grant you one basic modifier, regular gems grant you two basic modifiers, and greater gems grant you two basic modifiers and one supreme modifiers. As you can imagine, the supreme modifiers on the greater gems are really where a lot of the power from these gems will be coming from. So this is what's, you know, what you're really going to be looking at. Uh, and if you'd like to check out all the different types of modifiers available go check out the tibia.com wheel of destiny planet has all of the different possible modifiers listed there so i'm not going to be going into them in this video if you wanted to see what's available go on to the planet uh, now the gems drop from bosses uh, fiendish creatures and influence monsters and can be traded when they drop an explanation of which gems can be looted from which type of monster has been shared by tipsoft in detail uh, i will show you now the little uh, description that tips off shared you can pause the video and read it if you'd like to have a little bit more details about where exactly you can drop all of them once you have the gem type uh, that you want for your build so basically if you've got your lesser or regular or greater gem which is the one that you want uh, as the gems actually drop unrevealed from monsters so you don't know what modifiers they have you need to reveal it via the new wheel of destiny interface and there's a new section called gem atelier as you can see in the image so you have to be in the temple uh, like in the regular Wheel of Destiny edits and you need to have the gem in your inventory and then you come into this screen. Uh, the values you see in the screenshot are no longer uh, true. Um, that During the test server they were changed. Currently it costs 125k for a lesser, 1kk for a regular and 6kk for the greater gem reveal. And let me tell you, given how many combinations there are, if you are going for a particular combination of modifiers that you want, for example, on a great gem which costs you 6kk per roll, um, you will be spending a lot of money to get something decent. Um, you know, we are talking potentially hundreds of kks to get like a really optimal uh, gem. Worth noting that there is a limit to how many gems you can have revealed. At the moment, this is 225, uh, which means that, you know, if if you keep revealing the gems over and over and you're getting some useless ones, make sure to just destroy them. There's a special destroy button that you can remove them from your gem atelier uh, so that you can continue revealing uh, new ones. Anyway, once you are happy with it, all you need to do is click the reveal button on the left hand side and your new gem will pop up and it will show, tell you exactly what modifiers you received in this gem. At this point, the gem is no longer tradable and it is a, a character bound in your wheel. Nothing else you can do with it. You can only destroy it if you don't want it. Once you have revealed a gem and its modifiers, each gem will be assigned to a particular quadrant or domain of the Wheel of Destiny. So you have four quadrants. Obviously, you have like the Gift of Life one, the Avatar one, and then the two specific vocation ones. And each gem by default is assigned to only one of the quadrants. And that's the only quadrant in which it will work. However, you're also able to change the quadrant of a particular gem. So if you get a really good gem and you really want it in a particular quadrant, you can pay uh, to move it around. It costs 125k for um, lesser, 250k for regular and 500k for greater gems. Uh, now, this cost is a fraction of the cost of revealing of the gem, so probably not going to be a big deal. Uh, and the way the switching works, it moves uh, the gem to be available for the next quadrant over. So worst case scenario, you might need to move it three times over if you want it, to the, uh, if you want it in the adjacent quadrant on the other in the counterclockwise direction. Once you have the gem in the right quadrant with the right modifiers, exactly what you want and you want to assign it, you just need to click, uh, I believe, a button that says assign or maybe place in vessel something like that it's right there in the gem atelier in the screenshot now uh, it's actually been hidden underneath the white text it's just a little button that you can click click to place it super easy 
Once you've done that, the gem will be assigned to a particular quadrant and you can see it in the actual Wheel of Destiny, the old interface now. And uh, what needs to be mentioned is that each of the quadrants in the wheel uh, has now had three perks changed and they are now Vessel Resonance perks, three of them in each quadrant for a 12 total. And those need to be picked up as part of your points for the modifiers from the gem to work. In summary, if you have the Greater Gem, which has two basic modifiers and one Supreme modifier, and you've assigned it to, for example, the Avatar Quadrant, all three of the new Vessel Resonance perks in the Avatar Quadrant need to be assigned, uh, and at that point you will be getting all of your modifiers. If only you assign the first one, the first perk, then you will only have one out of three modifiers from the Gem, the basic one. And just to mention, to unlock all three of the Vessel Resonance perks in the Quadrant, you will need to spend a total of 475 points. In other words, level 5 to 5 is the earliest you can possibly uh, unlock the Supreme mod from a Greater Gem. Final thing worth mentioning, in addition to the basic modifiers and the supreme modifiers, the gems have an extra flat damage and healing increase, similar to how uh, when you unlock revelation perks you get like plus 4, plus 9 basic flat damage and healing. Gems have something like this as well. The lesser and the regular gems grant plus 1 um, to healing and damage, while the greater gems grant plus 2 to healing and damage, with the slight caveat that to receive this flat damage buff, you need to have assigned the exact amount of Vessel Resonance perks corresponding to the tier of the gem. So I will in a moment show you a screenshot of uh, Tipsoft explaining this, but what it basically means, if you have a regular gem with two basic modifiers, to get this plus one damage and healing bonus, which is very useful by the way, from the regular gem, you need to have both of the perks assigned. In practice, what this means is, is if you have a um, greater gem, right, which uh, if you have uh, which possibly grants plus two damage and plus two healing, but you don't yet have the level to get all three of the modifiers and you only assign two of them, you will not receive your uh, flat damage, flat healing, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, and that's where a lot of the power also comes from. So it also means that if you're kind of lower level, you don't want to be unlocking those greater gems uh, looking into the future, you actually want to be unlocking either the lesser ones or the regular ones just to make sure you can get this flat damage and flat healing bonus. Um, and yeah, this is all I have for you now, uh, to be honest. Like I mentioned, it's quite a complicated system. Um, you know, I think it could have been designed slightly easier, but hey, it is what it is. Actually, once you play around with it, you reveal a few gems, you assign them. It's uh, it's not too bad, to be honest. You just need, you will need to spend, you know, 10, 15 minutes looking at this when the when the update hits and I'm sure you will uh, get it. Anyway, if something is not clear uh, still after this video, please let me know in the comments. I'll be perfectly happy to answer any of your questions. So yeah, thanks for watching. And uh, just before you go, if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing to the channel. It helps me out a lot. It really, really helps the channel grow. So uh, yeah, only takes a couple of seconds. Please consider subscribing. Uh, thank you very much. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.